Hello, my name's Laurie Green and I've been asked to say a few things about my own background and also uh, what has influenced me when I've been doing theology all these years. Well, I'm an EastEnder by birth and breeding and when I uh, left school I went straight up to Birmingham uh, where I worked with a research unit looking at how adults can best learn. It was working particularly with those who have learning difficulties. And what we found there were that there were four major things that had to happen. Um, suppose someone was learning to knock a nail in, something simple like that. First of all, they had to look and have a, get the, the hang of what the experience is of, of having hammers and nails and all that sort of thing, wood and all that sort of thing. Secondly, they had to look more carefully at that experience and see what was going on. Next, they had to uh, process that and have a think about what was, what was happening in trying to knock that nail into that wood. And finally, you have to actually have a go yourself because you learn much more by doing than just by abstract ideas or thinking or, or simply looking. And of course, that process of those four things is even more clearly expressed in the life of Jesus himself because the incarnation, getting down to earth with us, is uh, the experience, that first thing. And then Jesus spends 30 years, no, all, all those 30 years, not uh, preaching or doing that sort of thing, but looking and exploring. So that's the next thing, looks very carefully. Uh, while he's doing that, of course, he's also reflecting very carefully and thinking, processing what's going on here. And when that all happens, then he's able to act. And his actions, teaching and uh, preaching, uh, healing and then the remarkable act of salvation on the cross uh, when he goes up to Jerusalem. I then went on to uh, London University to study theology and it was a bit odd because it was all about books all the time. I had to study languages and write essays and I thought to myself well if this is theology, this abstract stuff, it's never going to turn the world upside down and as Christians surely that's that's what we're here to do, to turn the world upside down. But I got my great break uh, when I got a scholarship to the States, uh, to New York in 1968. And there, the way that they learned together was altogether different. The professor and ourselves and students were working together and going into situations and looking at issues together. So it's a hands-on process. And the students I was working with, well, many of them had been civil rights activists working with Martin Luther King and others, um, putting the faith and the issues together, issuing in action. So that was a very fascinating way to see that process of four things working out. But in addition, coming up from the South, from South America, were new ideas. And on that, in that year that I was actually there, there was a wonderful book published, and I've got my copy here. It cost me 60 cents in the States, and it's by Paolo Freire, and it's called Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Don't be worried about the title. Uh, the point is that he was talking about power and reminding us always to look for the power constructs that are behind anything that's going on. So if a teacher is standing up there uh, pontificating, then is he using, is she using power correctly? Isn't there a better way to do things than that? Who's controlling? Who's benefiting from what's going on? Secondly, in addition to all that, there were also the re liberation theologians uh, looking and working alongside the poor and writing more material still. And I went to a number of lectures by this chap here, um, Segundo, and he was a very great influence upon me working with the poor just as Jesus had done. It all resonated with how I understood Jesus' life. He was hands-on all the way. He never used his power to oppress people. He wanted everyone to be free, and he worked particularly with the poor. He even said, they are the blessed ones, so get alongside them, because that's where it's all happening. In 1970, I came back to the UK, and I got stuck in into a housing estate um, working alongside ordinary people and with them bringing all this together and finding that it all worked into a diagram which we drew together, a circular diagram of those four things. You didn't need a degree to do it, Jesus and his disciples, they didn't have degrees so you didn't need that. You just needed faith and you needed passion. Passion for justice, passion for the kingdom of God, um, passion for the downtrodden. 
And with those two things, away you could go. I wrote it up eventually into this book, which you may see around, uh, Let's Do Theology. And if you want to know more about my books, then just go to my website, lorrygreen.org. Uh, but most important, get stuck in yourself. Um, and I just hope that you find it as exciting to do theology as I have through all these years. And God bless you in doing it.